What's up YouTube? This is Dave's Had Enough 187. This is another video to do with our season passes not enough. What the fuck is this shit? And another video from Dave. And yeah, um pretty much I wanted to do this video yesterday, but I, you know, didn't have time, but you know, I wanted to play the divisions and I already did two videos. I did one oh shit. I did one the night before. And uh, I did a video yesterday when I got off work, and I wanted to play the division. I played it for about three, three, three and a half hours, something, whatever's on there for my live stream. That's how long I played it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> all right. Point is, all right. I bought the season pass. There's your proof right there. Tom Clancy's, uh, you know, the division, uh, right there. You see the season pass, people, right there. Okay. This is my problem. I spent forty thirty nine ninety nine. I bought the game for fifty nine ninety nine. Okay, is that not enough? Is is it not? I mean, I'm just wondering. And it's not only this game. I'm gonna go on about another game, but I'm not. I'm just gonna show you the example with this game. What the fuck is this shit over here? Please explain this to me right here. What what is this? After you buy a season plus, the division Marine Forces outfits. You know. What, what do you get with this bullshit? Custom your agent like a Marine Forces soldier with this Armed Force Themes Pack for unique camouflage pattern outfits. $4.99. But that's not it. That's not even just it. On top of the season pass and the game. What's this shit over here? Oh, another one. What, what is it? Oh, what's this one? Customize your... Agent with four iconic military looks with this armed force outfit pack. Military specialist outfits include army spec ops, pilot jumpsuit, explosive ordnance, uh, disposal technician suit. You know, it's a suit, I guess, too. Four ninety nine. So that's ten more dollars on top of forty and the sixty. You know what I'm saying? So that's. $110, and you know there's going to be more of these. This is day one DLC. This shit should come with the, with the season pass. All right, don't give it to me with the game, but I spent $40 on a fucking season pass. Why can't I get the fucking outfits? Why do I have to pay on top of that? They do this shit with Mortal Kombat, too. You buy the combat pack, and then on top of that, you got to buy the Brazilian pack and some other bullshit, you know, the Cold War pack. And then, you know, it really pissed me off what I want to show you in this video you got Forza 6. I bought the car pass, okay? I, think, I forgot what it was. What was it, like $29.99 or something? And then they have the VIP pass. But you know, even though after I buy the car pass and the VIP pass, which I only bought the car pass. I didn't buy the VIP pass. But even if I bought the VIP pass too, I would still have to pay $19.99 for the fucking Porsche expansion. Why are they making other DLC where the DLC that I bought already isn't even out yet? You know what? You follow me on this? Like, why is the car passes DLC? Why are they working on other DLC that don't include what should be out now? Does that, does that make sense, everybody? Why are they making other DLC? And why don't that shit come with the car pass? Why is there a VIP pass? Which, okay, I'll let, I'll let the VIP pass slide. That's for, like, special events, and they do give you some cars. But why do I have to buy, like I already bought, a Fast and the Furious pack on top of a fucking car pass pack on Forza Motorsports 6? Same thing with the Porsche thing. Why do I have to buy $19.99 for a fucking expansion for the Porsches? Why doesn't the Porsches come with the car pass? That's what I'm trying to say. And they're doing this shit with tons of games. It's not It's not just these games. It's, it's your, They're selling you outfits that should come with the season pass if you lay down the... Uh, 20, 30, 40, and 50 dollars now. I shouldn't have to buy, you know, DLC on top of DLC, you know, DLC on top of a season pass. That That's bullshit. And that's what's wrong. You know, I don't have a problem with buying a fucking, oops, I just touched the camera. I don't have a problem with buying, you know, a fucking season pass, but I shouldn't have to buy any more than the game and the season pass. There should be nothing after that, unless we're talking expansions. This is a season pass. Well, I guess you could say it's an expansion, but $40, come on, guys. I mean, and I have to buy fucking outfits on top. They can't give me the outfits. And with the with the uh with the uh with the season pass, I think I do get outfits. Or that was something that came with the the pre-order bonus. Do I get an outfit with? Yeah. 
I get exclusive content. Con 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the exclusive content pack contains four complete outfits to customize your agent, motorcycle police, sheriff, New York troopers, and SWAT team. But do you get my point? I have to buy other outfits on top of outfits. It's just a bunch of bullshit. And this is the shit that needs to stop. It's like they're ass raping you for everything. I'm not saying the division. I like the division. I'm just saying that's a fucked up, you know, business practice charging somebody a season pass. The season pass was supposed to, it used to give you all the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It used to give you all the extra stuff. Now the season pass don't even cover it where you have to buy extra shit like what I just showed you, like this shit right here. Why do I have to spend another $4.99? Forza, why on top of $29.99 do I have to spend another $19.99 for the fucking Porsche? Then the Fast and Furious was like $9.99. I mean, come on, this shit's insane. I mean, and I don't see nobody making videos about this, you know, DLC on top of season passes. That's uncalled for. I don't have a problem with spending money for a season pass, but this shit's unreal. I couldn't tell you what I spent on fucking Mortal Kombat, you know, after buying the Collector's Edition buying fucking Brazilian packs and Cold War packs and Combat Pack 2. You know, Combat Pack 1 came with the Collector's Edition, but I had to buy Combat Pack 2 and I had to buy, you know, Brazilian, Cold War. There's all kinds of shit, even fucking soccer outfits. I mean, come on. This shit's fucking nuts. But I will be doing my Division's first impressions today or tomorrow. This video just needed to be said you know, season, uh, DLC on top of season passes. What the fuck? You know, this is a bunch of bullshit. Tell me if you've been noticing this. Tell me in the comment section. I'm talking, tell me the people that buy this. I actually go out and buy it that feel what I'm feeling. Not the people that just bitch about everything to bitch about. Like Hydro was talking. Hydro fame. Shout out to you, buddy, in your last video. I'm not talking about them fucking non-gaming motherfuckers. I'm talking about people that actually buy video games, you know, and actually... <laughs> You know, actually buy fucking video games. You know what I'm saying? Those people. Tell me in the comment section how you're feeling about this shit. Buying season passes on top, DLC on top season passes, and more videos to come later, YouTube.